Hey, it's me again. It's still Tuesday. It's uh, second video and and probably the last video today. Um, and this is something I can't really put off anymore because uh, people have been talking about this and asking about it and suggesting uh, basically almost since my channel started about three or four months ago. And it's to um, listen to Marillion. Now, I know Marillion. Well, I think I do, or I think I did in the mid nineteen eighties. Um, they had a sort of string of uh, of uh, of chart troubling hits. Uh, one of which was Kaylee, and they were fronted by a guy called Fish. And I didn't really enjoy it massively at the time. It was okay, um, but it's. I just figured that they'd carried on and was still going and it was still um, old old Mr. Fish at the at the helm and uh, so I was never really sort of compelled to go back and revisit it and um, reading through the comments here it turns out actually no he left at the end of the 1980s and since then have their band's been going strong and doing stuff and I have not heard any of it at all so um, for everyone who's asked for this and I'll just go through a quick uh, list of uh, of names we've got Sequential Scott uh, Twin Ravens, Easy Skanking, um, 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 Kaz, 3E987, uh, Trevor Land. Uh, did you talk about Meridian? Or were we just commenting on something else anyway? Um, uh, IBD 1977, Skyos, uh, uh, loads of people. Um, so this is a song called Neverland. It's live um, at the Marillion Convention in 2007. I didn't know Marillion had a convention, so uh, I didn't really know Marillion was still going. So you know, this is this is not this is not shaping up well for Jim here. My my knowledge is 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 painfully lacking in uh, quite a lot of areas. So I think we've, we've, it's safe to say. So we're going to get on with this. This is uh, Marillion with Neverland. 2007 live. I'll see you guys on the other side. Three, two, one, push. Oh, 2009, not 2007. We're going to leave you with this song tonight. Scary ghost story lighting the torch under the chin. Oh 
Very good.
Oh, Jim, Jim, Jim. What have you been doing with your life? That is just incredible. Um, oh, it is 2007. <laughs> um, I, I, um, I've missed out on a lot of years of Marillion because I dismissed it when I was 15 years old as uh, as cheesy, generic 1980s, not quite hard enough to be metal, um, which is what I was really into at the time. And I never went back again. And that's a mistake. It was like... Uh, uh, it really reminded me of uh, of Pink Floyd, definitely, but also Simple Minds. There's a lot of sort of a com- combination of Simple Minds and Pink Floyd in in one band. Um, I don't know where to start with this because it is it is so unexpected and so not what I thought this was going to be at all. Epic, sweeping, majestic. Uh, beautiful, composed um, of people, the guys, the people playing in this band absolutely are on on top of the game. They they know what they play. It's not about playing fast. It's not about sort of trying to um, uh, shred the hell out of your guitar. It's about being soulful and having feel. Uh, very much like uh, David Gilmore in in Floyd. Um, it's not about uh, showing off and being fast and flashy. It's about conveying emotion. Um, it's just, just beautiful, beautiful music. Um, I re- I I don't know who the people in the band are either. I mean, this is terrible. I re- I don't know anything about Marillion other than Fish used to be in it 25 years ago when however long ago it was. Um the guy singing. I quite like what he's doing um without using a sort of a delay effect sort of uh, singing a song singing a note 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 using his distance from the microphone as part of the instrument so that interesting technique i like that i like that a lot i i just loved it it's not about image this band is not about image it's about uh five six guys on stage um playing music together um because they want to play music it is about the music um they've obviously aged and but still feel the need to do it not in the same way as the rolling stones have which is kind of uh, we just need to make another few million quid this this year because our tax bills come in this feels like they were there because they want to be there and they want to sing and they want to connect with an audience who still wants to listen to their music um i've really enjoyed this i have got to i have genuinely i've got to find out uh, listen to a lot more of this because um i've missed out I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, this is Jim over and out. Going off to listen to Marillion.